Hello and welcome to Game Club. Today we play Ticket to Ride London. It's the 1970s. There's red buses, famous landmarks, and no mounds of rubbish, homelessness, or violence in sight. This is a condensed version of the Ticket to Ride game and the subsequent game series that followed. Players start by choosing a colour of bus, then shuffle the transportation cards, signified with London on one side and a mode of transport on the other, place five cards face up near the board and deal two to each player. Take the ticket stub card, with, which are destination cards, shuffle and deal two to each player. Players can keep one or both cards, but they must keep these secret. You get points for each of the completed routes, as well as points for routes with just numbers of buses and completing a district, signified by numbers on the board. This is a departure from the original game and for seasoned players, an unwelcome one. Right, the youngest player starts. Each player can either draw two cards, one if it's a wild card bus, which can be any color, claim a route, or pick up a des two destination cards. To claim routes, you need the same color cards. So if the squares are pink, you need that number of pink cards in order to claim it. If it's gray, however, any one color card of the number squares that are on the board can claim it. Now, in three to four player games, double routes are open. In two player games, one, one side is occupied, the other cannot be claimed, so it becomes closed. This rule makes for a dynamic game, but is across the series. The game ends when one player has two or fewer buses. Everyone gets a final turn, and then you score. Though the game retains the great features of the original series, it is fair to say it's faster, more subtle for portable play, and it allows for the winner to be shifted, often not the same person always winning. However, the game's major downside is that it strips out the longer, tactical fun. So if you like building lines and playing a game in which you're shifting your control, then it becomes less dynamic. The larger game leaves players feeling fulfilled if you like a more complex play. This leaves you feeling half empty as a result. 